Hi, let's talk about Enlivex uh, Therapeutics. Uh, they operate as a clinical stage immunotherapy company and uh, they have pretty much uh, the two drugs that they have against the COVID-19 and uh, also the this one basically on the stage phase 1b and uh, yeah and actually the upcoming catalyzed uh, allocetra prevent of a cytokine uh, storm in the sepsis but basically um, snowflake analyze shows on the health side six out of six on the risk side, earnings have declined by 32% per year over the past five years, and also they printed shares out, so that dilutes the, the shareholders in the past year. Later share price and events, there was uh, many of the product updates, and lately earnings update that is leading the market performance. Seven day, 23%, one year, 91%. So those who invested one year ago almost doubles their money. Of course, it's beating the uh, industry with those numbers and also the market uh, in the one year frame. Long term price volatility considered as lowest. Basically, the ind industry itself uh, is more volatile than the average market. Valuation side, influential data on the simple Wall Street so tip rank shows $33 per share that is uh, that is meaning 168% uh, upside and similar stock price target has the market watch so stock price target yeah on average 33 and on the financial and actually the future growth so for the biotech 10% Past performance of the company, so historical annual earning growth decreased, so the earnings are declining. That is basically uh, because of the research and um, of course the investing in the products. So that is eating some earnings and also the company is unprofitable currently. F financial health side, so actually they raised a lot of money or a lot of the capital so there's the equity and the cash so 90 million and that there's no debt that is very good so they have some cash to finance the operate operate business that is very good because that's why balance sheet looks green and uh, they're not paying dividends and the insider transaction so nobody nobody sold or brought the stocks ownership breakdown general public holding 67 percent vcp affirms seven institutions seven insiders 6.3 public companies 6.1 private companies 4.5 top shareholders we see here that arc investment added this one to their portfolio last reporting holding date 30th of june and also many of the other companies have been adding but there's on the decrease side also the renaissance technology decreased by 32 golden green 34 and so on but basically on the finvis we see that the volatility is pretty high so they had like many of the biotech companies on early and mid february the peak so 52 week high and uh, yeah the highest points highest point 29.4 and uh, yeah actually the volumes are once again raising so currently 9 million and there is some possibilities that it could bounce because the same volatility and same volumes were back in October 1st so I see there 50 million of course it's much much more but but anyway so there's a high possibilities that it could turn the same way so it in increased till some around uh, 14 then it decreased back again to 8 9 
then maybe bounce back to 10 and there's the high peak but i'm not sure if uh, of course it depends on the news on the drug pipeline that they have is if there if there would happen the movement in the stages then it of course it, it affects the the to the stock price and on the other side if they print shares out like you see on the screen shares outstanding keep increasing no sales that could affect uh, negatively to the to the stock price and uh, we see here that one year return 132 percent five year return is already like changed a lot of minus 83 and on the max side so this is actually all time minus 95 percent so those who invested in the early stages are sitting with the minus 90 so that that is the volatility on the on the biotech and uh, on the small cap companies because uh, yeah it's high 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 volatile share price so be aware of that and investing.com summary the stock for long-term investors as a neutral there is no approval for the third drug trial yet two second the trial will end more than a year short more is your short scam yeah portalix there's uh, other stock stock uh, company that there yeah but anyway thanks for watching this video subscribe to the channel like the video and see you in a future one